It seems to me that the ring wraiths are Tolkien's most um, original and distinctive image of evil. And uh, since he's a philologist, I think we should think about the word wraith. All right, what's a wraith? Well, it's actually related to words we know. For instance, it's related to wrath, which is anger. It's related to wreath, which is a twisted thing. It's related to the word writhe, which is to, you know, to twist and turn. And all these suggest that actually a wraith is uh, uh, something which is defined by shape, not by substance. There's this vacuity, this emptiness at the heart of the ring wraiths. They actually, in a sense, have no lives of their own. They're totally dependent on Sauron and on the One Ring. That's an interesting aspect of Tolkien's view of evil, kind of a moral vacuum, a lack of independent life. This is something which is uh, very distinctively modern. People of Tolkien's generation had a problem identifying evil. Uh, they had no difficulty recognizing it. They had to live through it. But the puzzling thing was that this seemed to be carried out by entirely normal people. And indeed, Tolkien, who was a, a combat veteran, knew that his own side did things like that too. The nature of evil in the 20th century has been curiously impersonal. It's as if sometimes nobody particularly wants to do it. In the end, you get the major atrocities of the 20th century being carried out by bureaucrats. Well, the people who do that kind of thing are wraiths. They've gone through the wraithing process. They don't know what's good and evil anymore. It's become a job or a routine. You start out with the good intentions, but somehow it all goes wrong. So it's a curiously distinctive image of evil, and I should also say it's a very unwelcome one, because what it says is it could be you. And in fact, under the right circumstances, or I should say the wrong circumstances, it will be you. You know, when people say that the, this kind of fantasy fiction is, uh, is escapist and evading the real world and so on, well, I think that's uh, an evasion. It's actually trying to confront something that most people would rather not confront. Hello, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and please follow our pages on Twitter and Instagram under the name at Uppsala Books.